Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brewmon's DigiGlitch here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we're back with a fun new deck from 1.5 and all the stuff in it. And it is a yellow purple deck and uh, it's going to be interesting. It's called Trash to Treasure and it's going to be super fun to play. Uh, but before we didn't get, to, get into it guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. Go check it out. It just takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below in that same Patreon, you'll get the link to our Discord. You'll get all the access to our videos early. You'll get all the extra stuff that we have in our Patreon. So go check it out. With that, guys, let's delve into Trash to Treasure. So first up, we got Koopimon, the first level two. He's the first Digitama egg. It is when attacking. If you have five or more security cards, draw one. So you get free security, or once you have the security, you get to draw cards for free. Just pretty, just good in general. Yeah. The next one, the next baby in the deck is a level two Upamon, and the inheritance is when attacking once per turn. If you have three or fewer security cards, trigger a draw one, and then that just helps you out in general. Mm -hmm. Next is Salomon. He is a first level three. He's four cost for two thousand power, zero digivolve. On deletion, if you have three or four, three or fewer security, recover one. So he gets you free security for something that cheap, that late of the game, that can be really good. Yeah. All right, and another level three is a Patamon. He uh, digivolves, or he's four digivolves for zero uh, with two power, but on play, if you have one or fewer security cards, trigger recovery one, and that just helps you out as well. Next up is Devimon. He is a six drop, 4,000 power digivolves for two purple, or on a level three for two. Uh, and retaliation, which is he gets to kill a dude if he hits a dude, and then his inheritable is retaliation as well. So yeah, you're just swinging back <clears throat> and killing things, hopefully. The next one is Black Gatomon. It costs five, it digivolves for two. It's a level four. It has security. At the end of battle, play this card without paying its memory and cost. So what is that part? That's so if it if it is in your security and gets hit, it acts like a security card that gets to play itself. So it gets okay. to come and play at the end of the battle, whether instead of like dying. It's kind of weird that it's in there and not others. And yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Though. Yeah. Next up is Gatomon, the yellow one. He is a five drop, 3,000 Digivolt for two. On play, if you have a purple Digimon in play, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 4,000. Nice. And then your turn, when one of your other Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gets plus 3,000 for the turn. So when you get to, when you kill one of your dudes, you get bigger and you get free kill spell. I like that. <clears throat> and then next one is Inklamon. Uh, cost five, it's a level four with a digi Digivolve of two. It has the security, so if you hit in the security at the end of battle, play this card without paying its memory cost. That's all it is. Yeah, it's super nice just because they just give you the free just, extra dude. Yeah, extra dudes to start swinging <clears throat> in. Uh, next up is Chimeramon. It's a seven drop for Digivolves for three. 7,000 on play. You may delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponent's level five or lower. So this is going to help the Godomon trigger because you just get to play it and then it auto kills a dude. Yeah, and if you got a free do off of security, you're not really wasting much, which mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. Uh, Lady Devamon is the next one. He's uh, She's a level five, cost eight, but digivolves for three. It's So when digivolving, trigger, draw two, which and then trash two cards in your hand so you can pretty much loot. And it has an inheritance ability, your turn, once per turn. When you use a option, delete one of your opponent's level three Digimon. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's really good. So, so yeah. Kill something really big and then probably something really small. Yeah, you much. get to kill a dude, kill a dude. It's pretty nice. Yep. Next up is Magna Angelmon. It is a seven drop, 6,000 power for Digivolves for three. On play, trigger recovery once, you get a free recovery. And then his your turn, your, your inheritance is this card gets plus 1,000 for each three security cards you have. Yeah, pretty awesome. Just pretty good because he helps you get there quick. Uh, Angelmon, it's a level five, cost six with Digivolve of three. And when digivolving, when you have three security cards or less, trigger or recover one. So therefore, just to help you with recovery, which is possibly one of the strongest things ever, yeah. as we keep talking about. Uh, next up is Mastamon. It is the main thing of the deck and is pretty funny for what it does. So yep. it's a 12 cost, level six, 12,000 power. Digivolves for a purple or yellow for four. Uh, when digivolving, just trash one of the trash one card from top of both players security stack then play one of your level four digimon from the trash without paying its cost <laughs> that's so awesome. you're like cool we both lose its security and i get one of mine back like you get like either the devimon that can have retaliation or like free dudes or the salamon that gets you another security so yeah. you don't really lose security it's pretty cute just to be like hey i'm gonna do things that's super awesome i like that card a lot and the arts fantastic yeah. Yeah. jesus seraphmon it is our level six. It costs 12. The power is 10, but the digivolves for three, which seems pretty cheap. 
When Digivolving Trigger Recovery 1, done. And then your turn, when you have three or more security cards, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So you're just destroying your opponent really well. Yep. Next up is Magnadramon, one of the most hated little dog <laughs> dudes in the game right now, because he's super good. Yeah. 11 costs, 10,000. He Digivolves for three, but you're pretty much not doing that. Um, on play, if you have three or fewer security cards in your security, you trigger Recovery 2. And then when attacking, you may play one level three Digimon from your hand without Pagan's memory cost. So he helps you get free dudes in this deck, and he gives you free security. Yeah. That's what his just, purpose is. Just everything that you ever need. Yeah. All right, the first option in the deck is Trump Sword, of course. It costs seven. Delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. And, of course, security. Activate this card. Yeah. Uh, next is Dark Despair. It is two drop. On main, one of your opponent's Digimon, or one of your Digimon gets retaliation, so it gets the ability to kill one of theirs regardless. Yep. And then security effect is add this card to your hand. Which is good. One of your tiny dudes just came in and you swing in one of their big dudes, and it's very powerful. Okay, Eden's Javelin is next. It's the one of the white options. It costs six. Main trigger, draw one. And then one of your opponent's Digimon gets, uh, opponent's Digimon gets minus 1,000 for each card in your hand this turn. Pretty awesome. And then the security is you just activate the effect. So done. Next up is Glorious Burst. It is a nine draw. Reduce the man memory cost of this card put in your hand by one for each yellow tamer in play. One or main one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 12,000 DP for the turn. Yep. So this one's not going to be as strong because we're not playing as many yellow tamers, but it still costs less and it's still a kill spell. So it's still worth it. Yep. Uh, the first tamer we have is Mimi. It costs two, the purple one. And then uh, all turns, when a player uses an option card, you may suspend this tamer to gain one memory. Oh, when a player uses an option yeah. card. So <clears throat> you can really sh shut them down to your turn. And then, of course, security, you just play her. Yeah, so if they play a hammer spark, they don't get value. Yeah, it's yeah. Just like, cool, no. Just tap, no, no thanks. Uh, and then next is TK Tak Takashi. He is a four drop. At the start of your turn, if you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. On play, look at the security stack, then reveal one card in it and add it to your hand. And then if it was yellow, recovery one. And his security is it triggers, he comes into play. But he does have to take a card if you look at the card, so you're going to get a card regardless. Hopefully it's yellow so you don't lose a card. Yep. That's the only real issue. It's really good. Really powerful, though. But overall, this deck's going to be super fun to play because just because you're recurring all your level fours. We don't really have blockers, so you're going to have to rely on your retaliation to kill a lot of dudes, and you have to keep swinging into their dudes. But it is what it is. Deck's going to be really fun to play. Kill, kill all the dudes. So. And get all your security back because you yeah. don't care. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that the deck list will be down below, guys. Go check it out, and then leave us a like down below. See y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, then subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.